Hi viewers, this is Brent and welcome to my channel. This is a video today about lost wax casting. And uh, what I have to show you is this ring uh, mold out of jeweler's wax or casting wax. And I'm going to glue, or not glue, but I'm going to attach the blue piece which is called the sprue. And once that's attached, the uh, the wax mold will be inserted into this metal cylinder that has this rubber bottom. And uh, once I have the wax mold inside this metal cylinder called the flask, I can then pour in what we call investment powder, which is kind of like plaster of Paris. Here is the silver I'm going to use. I believe that's about 20 grams of silver sterling silver. I will use that as my precious metal to make the ring. So I've attached here, I've attached the uh, sprue to the wax mold. I just did that by heating it and melting it together with the uh, ring mold. And uh, this is how I put it into the flask. And uh, next I'll be mixing up the investment powder. This is mixed with water. And uh, I'm also going to, once I mix this, I will be putting it into a vacuum chamber so that the air bubbles can be vacuumed out. When you have air bubbles in uh, and around and on your mold, your wax mold, you have bumps the metal will fill the voids and you'll have bumps on your uh, mold, your ring pattern, and it'll look pretty bad. It'll be hard to clean up, much harder work. So uh, I've mixed the investment powder here. And uh, here's the vacuum chamber. I'm going to uh, put in the entire little tub, uh, tub of uh, pail of the mixed up investment powder, and I will vacuum that down for I let it go for about a couple of minutes is all. And you can see, uh, once I turn it on and have the vacuum started, you can see the bubbles rising and it's boiling and bubbling. But that, that helps to ensure that most of the air is out of the investment mixture. Right now you can see the bubbles rising to the surface, surface and it'll start to bubble and boil up. The pump is pulling almost uh, 30 inches of vacuum. It's doing a pretty good job, uh, but just a couple of minutes is all I needed to do. Once I was satisfied I had done that enough, I turned it off and uh, removed the uh, little black rubber bowl with the mixture and uh, I'm then going to pour that into the flask around my wax pattern, my wax mold. And uh, once this is done, I can uh, put that also inside the vacuum chamber. And uh, you can see here it's doing the same thing. It's going to pull out any air that's down in there that's trapped. And I'll let that go for maybe a minute. Okay, here it's finished. And I'm going to let it set for a couple hours and solidify. And here I've taking, taken the uh, rubber bottom off. And you can see there's a cavity left for this, the metal to go into. If there's excess metal left, you need a cavity. Here I'm turning on my burnout furnace or oven. And uh, it's going to go up to 500 degrees Celsius, which is right about 930 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can see inside, it's a pretty large oven. I could do a lot of uh, flask at one time if I wanted to. And uh, it has metal uh, elements in the sides and the bottom, the heating elements. Okay, I'm at the temperature, 500 degrees Celsius, and uh, I'm ready to uh, put the flask inside that's uh, dried 
and uh, so the wax can be melted or burned out. It just disappears. It's heated so so highly and it, it's meant to disappear like that. Okay, I've here brought the flask and put it into the centrifugal casting machine and uh, I've gotten the silver pieces in the uh, crucible. I've wound up the uh, machine three times and I've got got it stopped, held, so it's ready to let go and spin as soon as I get the metal to the right temperature. So I'm, it doesn't take long, silver melts quickly and this is a very hot oxygen acetylene torch. So I'm just about there now and uh, I'll release the pin and there we go. Centrifugal force will force the molten silver into the mold, into the flask that has the this empty space inside. So this takes a little while to slow down. It spun for a lot longer than this, but I, I went ahead and stopped the video while it was turning. But here is the, uh, the flask, and there's a little bit of silver there in the cavity that you could see. They call that the button. And uh, I was lucky I estimated the right amount of metal for this. I didn't have too big of a button or any of it overspill like it's happened before to me. Okay, I've already uh, gotten the uh, casting. There's the rough casting. I've taken it out of the uh, investment, out of the flask, which is easy to do. It's hot and when you put it in the water, it comes out easy. Here, I've taken my... Uh, Dremel tool and uh, or hand piece with my grinding bits and polishing bits and I've cut the uh, sprue off in the button, cleaned it up really good, polished it up, and uh, that's the uh, end result here. And that's uh, sterling silver. I just set a stone that was close to the right size in it just to see what it would look like.